you know, the one sure thing about Paramount Pictures and Warner Brothers is you know you're going to be getting a good Dolby Vision treatment here. And the same can be said for Bumblebee. So recently I've seen a couple of movies. I've seen Bumblebee. I've seen uh, Aquaman. They're both in Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. And uh, if you have a Dolby uh, setup with Dolby Vision Television and Dolby Atmos Receiver, then uh, you're pretty much going to enjoy both of these movies. But my favorite has to be uh, Bumblebee. I really like this whole Bumblebee uh, standalone story much better than the whole Transformers Michael Bay flashy thing honestly this is more like a emotional sweet story uh, it kind of reminds me of E.T. a little bit and uh, yes there's Optimus Prime here and there shows up you know in the movie but uh, it, it's still a very very uh, just go see it and you will know what I'm talking about. Bumblebee is a very sweet movie. You got to go see it. Now, in terms of uh, picture quality, well, first and foremost, it's Dolby Vision. So, of course, it's going to look excellent. And Paramount Pictures, with their uh, 4K usually Blu-ray releases, they've done a great job on Mission Impossible Fallout. They've done a great job on all of their Transformer movies. And, of course... This here, it's no exception. Bumblebee looks amazing. Yes, it's produced by Michael Bay and uh, Steven Spielberg. But it's not directed by Michael Bay. And that's a good thing sometimes. <laughs> that it's not directed by Michael Bay. Uh, it really has that nice emotion to it. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, Cena is in the movie. W, uh, WWE star. But he's kind of like just like... Napoleon Cardboard. I mean, he doesn't, he's not like, a, he's not going to win any Oscars here. He's just, he does what he needs to do, you know, <laughs> in the movie. The Bumblebee is the star and the little girl is the star. These two characters are the star of the movie. So let's talk about the Dolby Vision. I'm using a 55 inch E8 2018 last year version of OLED. And uh, I have seen E9. Uh, uh, they all kind of look similar to me, honestly. I, I don't think you guys going to see like a drastic difference between the 8 series and 9 series, unless you care about the, the 2.1 HDMI, that is. But I don't think it's going to be like a drastic difference. Uh, what do I mean by the word drastic? Drastic means it's not going to be like night and day. That's what I mean by that. Um... Let's get back to the movie. I'm using E8 2018 version of the OLED, and uh, the Dolby Vision looks fantastic. Now, when you add Dolby Vision to uh, a panel like OLED, the movie's going to look much, much better. Why do movies look better on the OLED? They look better because, again, like a broken record, I always have to repeat this, every and each pixel it's emitting by itself. So every and each color will be presented the way it should be presented. And you're going to get the best possible viewing angles. That's just a fact. Um, there's no way around that. Now, some people would have you believe that the OLED doesn't have enough peak brightness to even support the Dolby Vision, to even support the HDR. Well, neither does the... Uh, LCD, LED backlit technology panels, okay, uh, they're not even 12-bit panels, okay, so therefore no television support full potential of Dolby Vision, only if you have a Dolby Vision laser uh, projector, which would be like $20,000, $30,000, good luck with that, you know, but other than that, I think what the OLED does and what it does well, it brings the quality so you can see every and each detail in the movie. And you'll see that detail in in the movie with the OLED better than with your uh, LCD LED backlit technology. I know this because I have uh, all these televisions. And I have a bunch of LCDs. And I had a bunch of OLEDs. And now I have this E8. And I can tell you the difference. But the peak brightness here is more than enough for the HDR and Dolby Vision. 
Now, I would love to uh, loop this movie and play it for you and, and, you know, play some scenes from the movie. I can't do that because once I do that, uh, automatically the video will be blocked. Why? Because the, Par the Paramount Pictures Studios, they own the rights along with the Amblin Entertainment, DreamWorks. They own the rights to this film. So, you know, there's nothing I can do. This is the best I can do for you guys. Also, I'm not doing this uh, video to show you case to you. Oh, look, this is how it looks on the OLED. No, guys, it is impossible for you to see through a camera and then compress through a video to see what OLED looks like. I'm simply doing these videos to give you my experience on this movie. So before you go out and buy it and spend $30 on it and... If you find it cheaper somewhere, I don't know, uh, before you purchase the movie, what you can expect. And if you have an OLED, what you can expect. Listen, this movie, if you have a good 4K player, will look good on any of uh, 4K HDR televisions from TCLR 617 to Samsung K KS8000 to QLED. They will all look great. Okay, but there's something about the OLED that you can achieve that you can't achieve on these LCD panels and that's getting that three-dimensional feel and look of the picture every little tiny detail that's just a fact whether you like it or not so let's talk about this uh, Dolby Vision transfer and, and how does it look uh, it looks very clean honestly and I love the fact that uh, it doesn't have too much of that grain. It has a little slight, slight grain. When I say slight grain, are we talking about a little... You need the microscope to see that little tiny grain here and there. Uh, but overall, uh, the movie really looks and feels as if it was filmed by uh, Brian Singer. You know, the guy who did the X-Men. It has that like an X-Men tone of color, like uh, feel to it, you know. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. I, I rather appreciate that than this whole flashy uh, Michael Bay thing, you know, as if I'm watching Victoria's Secret's uh, long three-hour commercial with some Transformers robots, you know. I, I just, you know, look, he does use high-quality cameras, don't get me wrong, but there's too much heavy editing uh, with uh, Michael Bay. All of these movies are so heavily, heavily edited, really fast. Like sometimes some scenes would be like two seconds, three seconds, one second, two seconds, one second. Higher ratio, smaller ratio, higher ratio, smaller ratio. He does uh, very like uh, chaotic, uh, heavy editing and too much flashiness, too much of that, uh, you know, flares that J.J. Abrams likes to use sometimes. Is, and then too much slow motion here and there. But that's his style. I mean, look, I'm not trying to shit at Michael Bay, but uh, sometimes his movies give me a headache, dude, seriously. Especially when he puts Mark Wahlberg, and Mark Wahlberg starts being cocky and pretentious in, in every movie. It's like, ah, oh, God. Let's move on. This is a breath of fresh air that we got only Bumblebee and this girl. It feels like ah, we can breathe now, like relaxing. Now, as far as John Cena, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's John Cena. So, John Cena playing John Cena. Just this time, he plays, a, you know, a military person. However, he does what he needs to do in the movie, and it's it's a good addition. That I think, I, th I think he did a good job. He did a good job. Uh, you know, again, he's not going to win any Oscars, but it was a good supporting role. Uh, it fits nicely with the movie. So that's all I can say about John Cena in the movie. Now, as far as the uh, picture quality, um, it looks great. Uh, there's parts of the movie where Dolby Vision really shines when there's the action scenes, uh, the colors, and even the flare. There's a little bit of flares in this movie too as well. Certain scenes have a certain like a flare effect. Uh, it, it looks really good, you know. Uh, it has that depth of picture, you know, like a, that three dimensional depth of picture. There's certain scenes that look really, really good, and there's some scenes that look just okay. But in, in 
throughout the movie, uh, I, I've been very pleased the way this is not like the best Dolby Vision, okay? But it's it's a good Dolby Vision, you know. It doesn't beat Aquaman. Aquaman looks really great. However, this is a uh, good Dolby Vision, and it has that tone of of movie like the X Men tone of movie, uh, color tone. But don't expect this to be like, oh, blow your socks off type of a Dolby Vision. It's a good Dolby Vision and it does what it needs to do. Okay. But I like it. I like it. So Bumblebee, should you pick it up? Should you not pick it up? Uh, I loved it, man. I enjoyed the movie. It's a lot of fun. There's also a bit of emotion in the movie. It's a really sweet movie, man. I think you guys are going to love it. There's a bit of comedy as well. Uh, I highly recommend that you go pick it up, definitely. Now, in terms of Dolby Vision, it's good, but it's not like Aquaman, you know, great. Aquaman still, to me, out there is just uh, excellent Dolby Vision demo material. But this is a good Dolby Vision material as well. You have to remember that the film director of this movie wanted this movie to look a certain tone. Okay, they didn't want it to look too flashy, like one of like one of those Michael Bay movies. It was trying to stay away from the whole Michael Bay, you know, flashiness. Okay, so uh, I liked it, man. I personally liked it. It's a little breath, fresh of air, breath, new fresh breath of air, than the whole Victoria's Secret uh, Michael Bay flashy thing, you know, popcorn thing. Uh, so, yeah, go pick it up. So there you have it, guys. That's my um, thoughts and opinions on uh, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Did I just call him Bumblebee? <laughs> Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Uh, look and uh, opinion on it. Honestly, uh, this is the one thing that I always tell people about the OLED. You know, to, to truly appreciate the OLED, you, you gotta. You got to watch movies on it. The movies look almost like three-dimensional, man. I mean, uh, everything here just looks three-dimensional. You get to see stuff from every and each angle. It almost feels as if like you can go inside a TV. Like everything has a depth, like a three-dimensional depth. It really feels natural and, and the way it should be. And you're going to experience the movies the way the film director intended you to uh, experience these movies. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. That's my opinions and thoughts. What do you guys think? Did you like the movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? And if you didn't like it, what did you not like about it? Stuff like that. But please don't spoil the movie for the others. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. Cheers. Have a good one, though.